Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, a couple of years back we did this video on uh, the enemy of the camera while doing a review of this amazing dry cabinet from Andborn. Well, it is that time again of the year when the enemy of the camera really returns. The rain is just around the corner and moisture is the biggest enemy of your favorite, valuable, expensive camera equipments. Well, it's a time that you need to take care of them, especially for those people who live around the uh, coastal regions of the country. Well, the uh, moisture level really hits the roof uh, during that time and they are definitely going to spoil your camera in a matter of weeks if you don't take good care of it. In fact, uh, for all those people who think that owning a dry cabinet like this is expensive, well, to such people, we had actually done a video very recently uh, where we kind of demonstrated an Indian Jugaad. Well, it's not the ideal situation uh, because it still builds up a little bit of uh, moisture inside. So maybe you can add a little bit of, I'll add a link to that video, by the way. Uh, you can actually add a little bit of uh, silica gel inside so that it absorbs that uh, excessive uh, humidity that it would create inside. So if you are um, under a budgetary constraint, well, you can consider that as a replacement, but the best solution always is a dry cabinet. Now, it's not really a secret that uh, photographers these days actually tend to spend uh, more on their newer product than what they spend on their previous uh, bodies and cameras and things like that. It, to me, actually becomes a little uh, kind of a criminal act from the photographer's side if they don't spend enough money on the proper storage of those devices. Uh, because, you know, they are now, like I said, awfully expensive cameras have started costing more than half a million Indian rupees. Some of the bodies that you can buy, it's actually criminal to kind of leave them unattended or in a wooden cupboard or a, or a steel cupboard, hoping that they are just safe. The safety is not only safeguarding is against uh, any kind of accidents or thefts or things like that. Actually, the, the, the real safety is from taking care of your cameras from any kind of natural destructions. Moisture is the biggest culprit and this is the perfect solution. Now, one very big confusion and maximum number of questions that we get in the comments is the setting of the, uh, the dry cabinet. What kind of humidity settings that we should have? Well, the best setting is anything between uh, say 40 and 55. So I would suggest that you keep it at 50. Okay. You don't need to worry about anything else. You need to only set your uh, humidity settings, set it to 50 and just figure it. Rest, this guy will take care of. It will create the right amount of temperature inside. It will make sure that the uh, excess humidity is taken out and your products are safe inside. And there are questions about what all things you can store inside your uh, uh, dry cabinet. Can I store batteries inside? Can I so store films inside and things like that? Yes, you can store batteries inside. Yes, you can store film inside. But I think the best place for your films, unexposed films or even exposed films are in your fridge. Okay, it'll be better off. The life of the film will get extended. As far as batteries are concerned, I think you should not waste expensive real estate by putting them inside this. If you have lots of batteries, make sure that you devote uh, one draw on your work table for your batteries. The one which are charged, the one that's just yet to be charged perfectly demarked. Now, keeping your camera inside a dry cabinet alone will not really guarantee you from any kind of the so-called destruction, okay? Well, you need to take care of the camera while it is outside as well. For example, we work in tropical conditions. We work outside heat, humid conditions. We start sweating, all right? When you start sweating, of course, there are chances that the uh, sweat start dripping on to the camera. Even if your camera is like a weather shielded camera, 
it start seeping into it over a period of time all the crevices all the openings small you know joints and stuff it start going inside and as you know sweat has salt in it uh, probably there are some acids in it and uh, they are corrosive and over a period of time it start eating into the camera body now the first uh, casualty is the leather grip well in some cameras it's a rubber grip now uh, let me tell you that the leather and the uh, rubber uh, coverings are not permanently pasted onto the camera body all right there are serviceable parts underneath there are screws and things that a service technician needs to access uh, why in the in the event of let's say breakdown so they are pasted using a kind of a temporary solutions if you take good care of the camera it last long enough but if you don't and if you happen to leave your camera after let's say after an assignment or after a small drizzle or things like that if you happen to leave your camera under dampened condition well it start peeling off i've heard about uh, people complaining about uh, brand new cameras with uh, the 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 leather coming off the best way is to use something which i use is i use cotton you know best is another jugard is a uh, used i mean we, uh, if you can if you manage to get an old uh, vest correct used a cotton vest the one which you want to actually throw away don't throw it away cut it into small pieces wash it nicely dry it well and use that every time once you return from your assignment dip it in warm water squeeze it nicely and wipe the camera clean of course don't touch the lens and uh, you know don't touch inside of the camera but wipe the camera body nicely it'll actually take away all that you know abrasive elements if there is something on the camera i i do it now you're looking at a camera this is my f5 bought in 2000 so this is now completed to 22 years and i've never had any problem and after 2004 i think this camera has spent most of its time inside a dry cabinet perfectly you know in excellent condition same goes with the lens lens also has these rubber parts around make sure that you take good care of it so dumping the camera after your assignment like i said inside a steel cupboard or a wooden cupboard or wherever you want to including a dry cabinet will not really solve your problem you need to also wipe it clean very very important and bone has been our go-to dry cabinet partner in pixel village for the last uh, couple of years and we use more than about two three of them in the studio and we are actually adding a few more uh, because our collection is growing um, the biggest questions again that we get in the comments column is about service well if you buy it with a bill and a warranty the service will definitely be taken care of now for all those people who wants to actually buy a dry cabinet of course it is available in multiple sizes the size is expressed in liters and volumes so this is the 120 their biggest it's available in 100 liters 80 and 60 i think uh, well i'll add a purchase link in the description i'll also add an offer code okay if you use that uh, you will get an additional 5% discount so that's what best we can do for you people make sure that you definitely i mean like i said the rain is just around the corner make sure that you not only take care of your photographic images but also your photographic equipments if you are interested in uh, learning photography please head over to pixelvillage.com we have a set of fantastic photography teachers there taking classes for you they are all recorded sessions you can watch the bouquet of offering and if you like it you can subscribe